here we go. Oh la la. Great Scott! Great Scott! Hey everyone, and welcome back to Caroline Brown's Movie Reactions. Thank you for taking the time to join me again for another great watch today. We're going to continue on our Back to the Future journey, and we are going to be watching Back to the Future 2. Um, excited because the only thing I know about this movie is that it starts right after the previous movie of the first one. In the previous movie, we saw Doc come back in time, uh, dressed all nice and groovy, kind of like gets him to come back in the car, and then they go off, and that was it. So here we go. Let's watch Back to the Future 2. Steven Spielberg presents. All of his movies are great, eh? Saturday, October 26, 1985. Oh my goodness, it really does start where the old movie left off. How about a ride, mister? You're acting like you haven't seen me in a week. Are you okay? Oh yeah. Here comes Doc. Party! Ah! Here we go. Compost! Be green! Jennifer's here. We're gonna take the new truck for a spin. Well, bring her along! What happens to us in the future? You and Jennifer both turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Your kids? I love how they're about to like go away for the weekend or like, and now they're talking about, oh yeah, you have children. You better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Where we're going, we don't need roads. It's like the Jetsons. Here we go. Back to the future. Starring Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Leah Thompson. Cal, okay, stop. Oh, I'm so excited. And I hear there is a Back to the Future 3, so we're definitely gonna have to watch that one as well. If you're a Back to the Future fan, which one did you like the most? One, two, or three, and why? Comment in the below. I love the first one, so I can only imagine how much I'm gonna. Oh, it's really flying cars. It is like the Jetsons. Ah! Oh! Taxi cab, I thought we were flying. We're descending toward Hill Valley, California, T15. 2015. <laughs> I love how it's 2015. Uh, Jennifer, um. <laughs> this would be a great time to tell you. This is the year 2015. We see our future. We're well, going to be able to see our wedding. Wow. Uh. Babe, I bet it's a big house with lots of kids. Gosh, she's so excited. <laughs> She was asking so many questions. Then what did you bring her for? Essential to my plan. But she's essential to his plan. I love that it's 2015 and we are 2023 and none of this happened. Oh wait, were they just time traveling? With flying? With the flying car? And now they're back to real. The serene stop. I was afraid you wouldn't recognize me. Fair chains of blood. And... What do you think? He looks exactly the same. Hi, Marty. We're on a tight schedule here. You tell me about... Much about their own destiny. Right, right. But then why is he there? <laughs> this thing doesn't fit. I was just saying, fit. Hide out. Put on this cap. So what's the deal? What, they're gonna just leave her there? Like a bottle of garbage? And wait for a guy named Griff. Whatever he says, whatever happens, say no, you're not interested. Okay. Don't talk to anyone. Yeah, like why does he have to do that though? And try not to look at anything. I don't get it. Look what happened to your son. Youth jailed. Marty Fly Jr. arrested for theft. The real Marty Jr. You're taking his place. Guy named Griff, just say no. What, what about Jennifer? Don't worry, she'll be safe. It'll, it'll just be for a few minutes. <laughs> it's okay, he's used to dealing with Doc, so he should be fine. But it's like 20 years in the future for them, so. But there are flying cars. I think that would alleviate a lot of traffic if we had flying cars. Can trust your car. 
We do have more robotics like that. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Hover conversion. Yeah, Cafe 80s, head there. Oh, it's the same cafe that they use in the first movie, but just different, I guess. It's so weird. Biff? Must be rough being named after a complete butthead. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, Mr. Loser? Why is he a loser? Why? Don't go anywhere. You're next. Oh, jeez. I got it working. I'll show you, kid. He's not supposed to do that. Oh, you have to use your hands? That's like a baby's toy. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Hey, McFly! How's it going? He looks drunk or high. Decision about tonight's opportunity? I'm not sure because I just think, you know, it might be a little bit dangerous. So. Oh! A little bit dangerous. So. Oh! oh, that must hurt. Um, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that I should, you know? Wrong answer, McFly! Oh, no. Stay down and shut up. The answer's no, Griff. Deaf and stupid, I said no. N O no. My chicken. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, shoot. Chicken. Careful. Fly. Nobody calls me chicken. Oh. Oh. Hovercraft. Hoverboard. Where? Oh, cool. Oh, so it's like a skateboard, but in the air. I love how they're like repeating what happened, but just in a different time zone, time frame. And they made it back in the 80s thinking that, well, I know it's exaggerated, but like what would happen 20 years from now? Whoa, are you gonna get wet? Oh no, it doesn't work in water. Don't burst, don't work on water! He looks so off, this guy. Uh oh, come on! Yeah, the guy has rhino shoes. What? Oh shoot. Marty, go, go, go! Just jump! Or swim! <laughs> All that's gonna happen is get a little wet. Oh shoot! And they're like teenagers. See, I don't think he was supposed to do any of this. Go hide, Marty, because I think you're gonna be held responsible. Drying mode. <laughs> I'd love that. Now this has an interesting feature. It has a dust jacket. Books used to have these to protect the covers. Of course, that was before they had dust to fill on paper. Oh, look at her head. Look at her hair. Sorry, excuse me, sorry. What the hell? Don't drive! Oh, I left him in a suspended air. Ah, look at you, doggy! I was afraid of this because I used to have... Doc, 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 look at this! Gang jailed, hovered ravage. There's some course! Griff now goes to jail. That robbery will never take place. Let's go get Jennifer and go home. Hey, buddy. Uh oh, no. Uh, it's a souvenir. Maybe we could place a couple of bets. I did invent the time machine for financial gain. I would. Not like only for financial gain, but if I got to go back in time, pick the lotto winnings, and then be like, woo, living on life, I would totally do it. Two bucks on the side. Great, Scott. Great, Scott. Hill will be by the time we'll have to get her out of there and go back tonight. Oh, great Scott. I love how it's always like, great Scott. 
the encounter could create a time paradox that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe. It's limited to merely how. And the popos are out. Round for tranks, lobos, and you all right? You got lights on. Yes. Now look. <gasps> that is something in the future that does happen when you could say like Alexa or Google, turn on lights. I don't have that. Broadcasting. She's gonna freak out. This is not the future she wants. Where's she supposed to go? Ooh, their Harry Potter closet. And that's little pumpkin. How did you I brought pizza for everyone? Oh, who's gonna eat? Not too late. Yeah, hurry up, Vomitos. Live in Hilldale. This is great. Way to go. We can't risk you running into your oldest Hilldale. Why does he think Hilldale's so good? but the cops said it wasn't. Oh geez, does he steal the DeLorean, guys? Why is it a rough neighborhood? And like, how did it go from being the best neighborhood? Oh, he was feeling sorry for himself. Hey, Mom. Sorry for him. 463, You can do that in the future, but you can't say it like that. Like, he can't help it, he's gonna go. He's gonna leave the DeLorean. Oh, self-walking dogs. That could be practical for a lot of people who do not walk their dogs. Here, sometimes in the winter time, it gets so cold that you don't see anybody for weeks on the street. And then in the summertime, when it gets springtime, it's like you see all these new people that just come out of the woodworks with all these dogs that don't get walked in the winter. So that would be very practical. What is he gonna do with the DeLorean? This is not good, guys. Tangy McFly. I don't know, Needles. What are you afraid? Doesn't work, Needles. I could- Oh, two ties. Come on. Stick your- Think your chicken. Oh, shoot. They did a good job at, like, makeup and stuff, making him look older. Buddy. All right. All right. Was monitoring that scan you just Needles was behind the whole thing. Cooperate. Please, no, I cannot be fired. You're fired? <laughs> uh. Imagine you actually get fired that way. You're fired. <sighs> See ya. Peace out. Go out the front door into the plate. What plate? Oh, this is because he got into that car accident. <laughs> Mom, calm down. I wasn't what? yelling. Don't go run! But now he's gonna find out that the DeLorean's not there. Marty, Marty. D has he already gone back into the future? And I was behaving responsibly. Just imagine the danger if a time machine were to fall in the wrong hands. <laughs> the time traveling. Yeah, throw in that compost. What did Biff do though? Did we make? <sighs> that caught me off guard. Something feels different though. Oh, you're the dog, doc. doc. Fine. What the heck did Viv do to create that? Don't dismantle it too soon, because you're gonna have to go fix something else. Wait a minute. Wait. No! Now you Just get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! He would be shot if we were today. It's like the whole town shut down. Stop it! It's just a newspaper. Ago, now you got exactly three seconds to get off my porch with your nuts intact. <laughs> And that was just for fun, it looks like. Oh no, it's like... It's like if evil took over, guys. Toxic waste recycling. It's a pretty big hotel. He almost looks like Trump there. Dedicated to Hill Valley's number one citizen, Biff. 
Cannon, one of the richest and most powerful men in America. You should probably go to that museum to figure it out. Learn how Biff parlayed that lucky winning successfully lobbied to legalize gambling. God bless America. <laughs> and relive Biff's happiest moment. <gasps> 1973. No! Provide a better life for our children! Nobody in the world wouldn't do jack shit for that man. <gasps> oh. You're not even half the man he was. <gasps> oh no. Father, where's George? Your father is in the same place cemetery. Oh no. No! Oh, please help me! Jeez, who's behind him? Yes, Marty, I know. Board it up, shut down, so I broke it. And hell be much worse. No, it's Hill Valley based off Biff's imagination. Oh boy. Creating this new temporal event. Let me, let me illustrate. Look in the car, you'll see the piece. Here's the present, 19. George McFly murdered. In the past. He was shot to dead? Somewhere in the past, the timeline skewed into this tangent, creating an alternate 1985. But how did they fix it? Biff was in the time machine with the sports overnight. That's how he became rich. Stop the sports book, stole the time machine, went back in time, and So they're gonna have to go further back in the past now? What I find interesting about this movie too is that it's like they play with the future and the timeline. So you get to see the characters at different points in their life. Sometimes like you don't get to see the future, you don't get to see the past, but in these types of, in this movie, in this series, you do. It's my book. Never happened. Oh, well, that's all in the past. I'm gonna be misused to ride the time machine. But you gotta fix it. We go back to the future. Future from this point in time. It's gonna be different. In which Biff is corrupt. This has happened. And Brown committed. Oh no. Crockpot inventor. Young Biff got his hands on that sports almanac. Old Western movies. Is that one of your favorites? Like, do, do any of you guys? Ooh, bulletproof vest back in the day. How? Take a seat. I love how he has a self portrait of himself in his office. Bet on the winner and I'll never lose. Just keep it a secret. Cause it was you. One day a crazy wild eyed sign. No, 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 don't kill him. I never thought it would be you. Oh, shoot. <laughs> run, Marty, run. <laughs> gotta remember, guys, like, this is an adult shooting at a kid. Run, Marty, run. So smart. On his part. Oh no, Biff is gonna be there, I think. Oh no, he's going to the roof. Oh no, Marty. Lead poisoning. You son of a. Oh no. What? What do you do? Where'd he go? Idiot. <laughs> and here we go, 1955. All right, time circuit's on. Yep. Doc, what about Jennifer? What about 85 will be changed back into the real 1980. Yeah, but that's like if, and if that I would not want to leave my girlfriend or my dog behind if that was the case. We must succeed. Oh right. The Hillcrest is not even built yet. Sunrise should be in about 22 minutes. Right, because it just finished after the last movie, right? And a walkie-talkie, so we... And there are two of you here. Oh, that's complicated. Get back to 1985. Your other self. Let me give you some money. That's so complicated. Get yourself some 50s clothes. <laughs> this house, it looks like some old lady lives here. Get my car, Grandma. Let me use my Aw, give the kiddos their ball back. Is this your ball? Yeah. No, don't throw it. Get a case of one out of for three minutes. Get away from my Never car. gonna go away. Okay. Yes. Is that Lorraine? Oh, oh Lorraine. I'm doing a submarine, you dork. I'm going with Calvin Klein, okay? <laughs> He's off of me. When are you gonna get it through your thick million dollars? 
<gasps> Good job, Lorraine. Keep it locked up. Oh, and there's one more thing. One day. Come on, Marty. It's time to work. Now we'll get home when I get home. Okay, well, there's the book, guys. Is he going to be able to manage to get it? My guess is yes. But I have a feeling this is going to be hard for him to not run into Calvin Klein, which is his future self brought back in the past. No parking anytime. Mama loves Mambo. Mama loves Mambo. Mama loves Mambo. Come in, Doc. Oh, you better hide. Car, he's on his way to the enchantment under the sea. The book is on Biff's dashboard. I'll grab it as a cell. Yes! This could get heavy, Doc. Heavy, heavy. One says heavy, one says you must not let great Scott. And see. those are the lines that repeat in this movie. You know that. Oh, I... well, the weatherman says it's not going to be any rain. Or, well, thanks. Nice talk. Would you like to go back in the future? Oh, sorry. Time again Would in the you future? like to go back in the past and change? Would you change anything? See, like there's certain things, maybe like little things, but I think you make mistakes in life to get you to places where you are today. And going back in time isn't going to change that. Something I would like to go back in time is go to a dance like that where the girls wear the dresses and the heels and the guys dress up. There's McFly. There's George. Like the, from Grease, like from the movie Grease when they're, they're wearing the big dresses at the dance. And people like, I think in the past were just more proper. Oh la la. Strickland. My dad used to say that. Do you want a knuckle? As a joke. A knuckle sandwich. How's he going to get it? Is he going to talk to him? Just grab and run. You could do it, but it's not going to be that easy. There's no way it's that easy. Nice to see you here. Why? Oh, I, I wouldn't know. I don't know what look have we here. Oh, no. Me too. What is Strickland doing with the book? Is he just going to throw it out? Is he going to look at it? Is he going to be able to be sneaky and get it, guys? Come on, Marty. That was a perfect opportunity. Oh, <laughs> oh that feels like it. No, he can't read that. No. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. What? No. Ooh la la. Who has? Uh, uh. Who has it? Biff still has it. And Marty, what's up? Doc has the damn cover. Now, Marty, the entire future depends on. Let's go, Marty. Turn around. He's there. Talk about deja vu. Aww. Come on, go, 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 go. Yes, I got it. I'll meet you on the roof for the high school. Run, Marty, run. Oh, check the check the the time thing, Doc. Aww. Run, 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 run. You have to stop those guys at all costs, but without being seen by your other self. Oh, jeez. Ten four. Oh, he went that way. <laughs> go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny, go. Doom, doom. Oh, you really want 
to chance it by going that way? Get it, get it, get it, get it! A little too much. Hey, I'll be there. Oh, he's gonna run into Biff. Hey, butthead! You think that stupid disguise would get by me? Let's have it out. Right now. Where you going? Oh, is he gonna call him chicken? Nothing but a little chicken. No, Marty, just go. It's just a word. Sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. You steal my stuff. <laughs> just one thing after another. You think that, oh, okay, he finally got the book. We're gonna go back into the in past or the future or whatever. 1985. Marty's in a 46 Ford wearing a Delorean. Repeating tonight's earlier weather bulletin. Oh, I like this plan. Repeating tonight's. Oh. Get the book, get the book, get the book. That'll teach him. <gasps> oh, he sees him. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> it only goes so fast, it's like a kid's uh, thing. Come on, babes. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Oh, please tell me that Doc's on the other side. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> I think that was the funniest thing that happened. It's something, one of the funniest parts. He got shat on twist. It would be so disgusting with that. Hey, but it's very miserable flying when I'm in my hands, dog. You got it in my hands. Oh, he has Biff's matches. Which is kind of ironic. It's like, this is Biff's future and you're going bye-bye with your own matches. Doc, do you read me? No. The doc's gone. Okay, wait, who's behind you? Wait a minute, what's this all about? But he's alive! Number 10! <gasps> the old doc! Or the original docker. How is he still there? Now what? Doc! 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 Okay, relax, Doc. Sent you back to the future. Yeah. Oh, I know you did. <laughs> I'm back from the future. Great. <laughs> Doc! This is heavy. Oh. To be continued, I guess that's what number three is for. Oh, don't want to pause it too early. We're in the Wild West. Fly. <laughs> oh Lord. So are they gonna be in the Wild West for the third one? Back to the Future 3. So that was Back to the Future 2 and I give it 10 on 10, two thumbs up. I love the sequel. Um, it was like, you have to really think like, okay, they originally went back, so this person is still there, so you have the original self, then you have the extra person, and then the extra person, right? So, or the original self, and then the extra person, or whatever. But it made you think a little bit more than the first movie. And now we have the pleasure of watching number three together. Um, what else did I like about this movie? I really picked up on how the doc keeps saying, great, Scott, and Marty, on the other hand, his line is, this is heavy. 
So I thought that was uh, something to notice. Um, interesting how Biff goes from being like the loser at the beginning of the movie to the mid movie being like the hero, the like the the go like the god of T Hillcrest or Hilltown, to then going back to being like. We don't know because we're gonna find out in Back to the Future 3. Well, we also know that Viv also got manure all over him, which I thought was hilarious how it happened twice. Did not expect that to happen. It was also fun that to see things from the first movie repeat themselves in the second movie, but with futuristic type of things like the hoverboard instead of the skateboard um, and so on. So I give it a two thumbs up. I hope you liked my reaction as much as I enjoyed the movie. Before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. I'll see you guys all later. Bye.